you once to prove the point about the border, you dress like Osama bin Laden. I don't know if you can pull this up. Sure. You dress like Osama bin Laden, you cross the border to prove a point, to say, here's how bad the border is. If you can go to images, and David, if we can show this, this is James O'Keefe, okay, right there to the right, if he can show that. Another time, I think you went in uh, uh, acting like you're a pimp with a prostitute, right? Yes. Who was that that you were trying to expose? That was that, that was a group called Acorn. And you expose them, and you. this is an orga- organization that had been around since 1971, 500,000 something. Correct. You know, members that they had, and right afterwards, six months later, you, you pretty much shut down the organization. At the time when you did it, it was 07, which is 15 years ago. You were what, 23 years old, 24, 24 years old? you bet, yep. yeah. So, so this is what I mean by, like these strategies and tactics, you gotta have yeah. a creative mind to say, I'm gonna play your game again. You. Yeah, but I, and I think I, I think I answered that. In so far as that we do whatever we need to do to get the information, and 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 for the acorn story, that I could we could spend thirty minutes talking about that story. But in a minute, it was it was this young woman who messaged me on Facebook, like I get most of these tips these days from the citizens, and she said, "What if you went in there as a as a prostitute?" And this was a this is a government. You're fun- telling her she's telling well, she's you. She's giving out. me this idea on a Facebook message in two thousand nine. And we get our tips and ideas. And at the time, I was I was nothing. I had no money. I had no organization. I was just a filmmaker with these ideas. And she had seen what I did with Planned Parenthood. She said, "What well, if you go in there as a prostitute? And we're having this, I've never met this woman before. We're just talking over yeah. Facebook. I said, well, there probably should be a pimp. And what occurred to me is how brilliant it was because this is an organization that was doing illegal things, squatting foreclosed homes. They were They were accused of doing corrupt acts. So if you went in there and said you were a criminal and you had a, 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 a deviant business, you would, you would get a reaction. Now, I thought that they would, I assumed, I have, my hypothesis was that they would perhaps tell us to evade the authorities or something, something mildly you know, fraudulent. When I went in there in Baltimore and with my hidden camera embedded in my satin tie with, with Hannah was dressed like a, like she was from Miami. She was from Miami, a, a 20 year old uh, dressed like a, she had stilettos and a sarong and a leather halter top. They told me how to disguise the underage hookers as dependents on the tax returns. They brought in the accountant. <laughs> this was like, this was like something out of a you know an SNL skit. Um, but they actually wanted to help us evade the law, and and it, it it got quite serious. It got quite serious very fast. I mean, those videos uh, prompted Congress to defund Acorn, democratically controlled Congress. So it wasn't me that uh, destroyed or defunded Acorn. It was the United States Congress. There we are. There's Hannah. That's what she looked like. She went in there. Now, I did not wear that fur coat in every office, uh, but she wore that in Baltimore. And by the way, prostitutes <laughs> prostitutes do not look like that in Baltimore, but these workers wanted to help us. And we did this in uh, uh, Baltimore, D.C., New York, uh, San, San Bernardino, Los Angeles. Every office helped us but one. Now, I got to tell you, sitting here right across from you, you don't look like a pimp. It'd be very hard for you to pass as a pimp. But that picture right there, you yeah. got very close to looking like a pimp. That's true. Uh, he, a low budget one, but he yeah. does look well, like a pimp. One thing's for the sure is dressed. his pimp hand is strong, yeah. regardless. Well, it just it was so low budget. Uh, people at the time, well, this was a massive story. I don't know if people remember it, but it was it was big. Um, and the late Andrew Breitbart described it like taking the penthouse to the uh, glass elevator all the way to the top with with uh, what we did. And... I, my, I did not have any money, so that that fur coat was my grandmother's coat. The hat was my grandfather's hat. Hannah accoutred herself, and we drove around in my old my old jalopy Grand Marquis, and uh, we just did it. I mean, we just two kids from the cast of High School Musical 3. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.